Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to like this video and hit that red subscribe button. It really does help out the channel a lot. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. If you're new to the channel, uh, like I said, anything on this channel is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies. Now, if we are looking at the overall crypto market cap today, guys, you guys can see we are currently sitting at $956.8 billion. We are down 1.7% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance, on the other hand, is currently sitting at 38.1%. Looking at the overall markets, you guys can see, you know, over the last 24 hours, we are starting to see the markets really do take a continuous hit from the previous day. We're starting to see more red across the board, and that's mainly because of Bitcoin. Bitcoin has taken a small retracement, causing the entire cryptocurrency market to go down with it right now. Uh, but today, guys, I want to talk about none other than one project that has been highly, highly requested on my channel. So you know what? I'm going to bring you exactly that. And if you do enjoy this update, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to cover it more often. All right, guys, today I will be talking about none other than Quant. All right. So Q&T holders, if you are looking at the price of Q&T right now, it is currently trading at $152.84, down 1.1% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative, down 0.5% in Bitcoin comparative, and 0.1% in Ethereum comparative that it is up. You know, market cap is currently sitting at $2 billion, and the 24-hour trading volume is currently sitting at $61.6 million. Now, if we are zooming out and looking at the bigger picture, guys, you know, look at what's going on with QNT. Over the last one year, it is down 47.9%, but look what's happening in the last 30 days. It's up 44.8%. A very, very nice move towards the upside. Remember, we are in a bear market and we are seeing QNT outperform the overall market by, you know, a big, big margin. So that's definitely something to point out. And if you are a QNT holder, you know, just give yourself a pat on the back because you guys deserve these gains. It's absolutely madness what's happening with QNT right now. But let's waste no more time and get right into the exciting stuff. The price of QNT. Where is QNT going and where could we be going in the immediate short term? So right now, as you guys can see, um, this is the daily time frame for QNT that I have pulled up for you guys so you know you guys get a better picture as to what really has been happening within the price of QNT over the past one year so as you guys can see QNT hit an all-time high of uh, you know $430 back on September 10th and since then you know we obviously did see quite a bit of a retracement happen because that is no secret we're in a bear market right now and it's just not qnt that saw you know a major retracement it was the entire cryptocurrency market but there's something different happening with qnt uh, compared to other altcoins and i will mention exactly what that is right now remember we're in a bear market right now and you know we saw qnt fall all the way down to 40 dollars just on june 9th so just a few months back you know it had the lowest um you know price since early 2020 uh at 40 dollars so if you were picking up some qnt around here guys let's say you managed to pick up some qnt around those june prices those lows you were dollar cost averaging and you're already up 287 percent you're already up 287% from those prices. Absolutely insane. You know, crazy, crazy gains are being made with QNT right now. And it's not stopping. It doesn't seem to want to stop. It seems to want to continue its upwards trend and really start heading towards all time highs. Yes, that's very, very crazy. Remember, we are in a bull cycle. I'm sorry, bear cycle. Uh, and you know if i'm bringing up the measuring tool for you guys i just want to show you guys one thing from all-time highs it's down only 64 percent it's only down 64 percent from all-time highs now you may be coming and say crypto zx what are you talking about 64 percent is quite a big amount why are you so excited what is causing you to get excited remember you can go look at majority i'm not saying all but majority of the cryptocurrency market right now 
compared to all-time highs, the majority of it is down 80, 85%, up to even 90% from all-time highs. But we do have QNT here that is down 65% from all-time highs, and it's still going, you know, up. And you know, we're seeing uh, growth, you know, a nice steady growth, not just one price that just shoots up straight to the sky. No, 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 not that. We're seeing a steady growth happening within the price of QNT. And that is very, very bullish. And remember, we're on a bear cycle. So, you know, this is the bigger picture, you know, the bigger time frame. I will zoom into this to show you guys a better picture. So as you guys can see, this is a better picture for you guys. I brought in, I zoomed in for you guys so you guys get a better picture. You guys can see what has been happening with the price of QNT. And like I said, if you were picking up some around here, that was a sweet spot. You're already up about 300%. But now look what's happening now is the interesting part you guys can see qnt is facing a major major level of resistance right now and you cannot make this up we try to break out of this level of resistance since you know obviously we pulled below it on january 18th so earlier this year remember this guys we have been trading below this level since earlier this year so almost a year ago and qnt tried to break out of here once two times but never broke out of here major rejection but this time around we did break out of here but this is the third time around we're you know hanging right below that resistance level and you guys are not understanding how important this level of resistance is because if we really do see more momentum come um, you know I do really see it pushing back into the 61.8 zone for the first time ever since December of last year something very very you know nice to see right now and it's absolutely insane you know i cannot believe these charts right now for qnt and if you're holding you know give yourself a pat on the back but at the same time i do want to say to you guys if you were picking up some qnt at the lows and let's say you're sitting at some like life-changing gains i do want to give you guys a tip and that is to lock in some profits because you know we all get greedy don't get me wrong we all get greedy we all want to get drive lambos overnight we all want to you know keep doubling keep doubling keep tripling keep 100x and keep 10xing but you know you want to be locking in profits guys because at the end of the day that's what we're here for and i learned this the hard way over the past seven years in crypto so that's the best tip i can give you guys but with that being said you know uh, if the bitcoin momentum so you know if you're a regular viewer on my channel you guys know bitcoin is sitting at some very very dangerous zone extreme danger right now um, and you know we are literally basically being supported by this 61 point I'm sorry 78.6 support line but if we lose this support line last life support is at that 17.6 level if we break that 15k is on the table so there's a lot of uncertainty at Bitcoin uh, right now which is causing the BTC dominance to start spiking up once again we did see BTC dominance at 38% just not too long ago but we're starting to see a spike up and from my understanding, I am going to project that we could see this possibly rise even more, which is going to mean that Bitcoin uh, is going to, uh, you know, perform better. And we're going to see altcoins bleed more because altcoin money is going to go back into Bitcoin. So that's something to keep in mind right now. Uh, but, you know, as far as QNT goes, guys, you know, if we do get a little bit of more buying pressure, I do see it breaking out of here. And if it breaks out of here, guys, you know, keep an eye out. Maybe in the next 24 to 48 hours, we could see a major breakout happen. That happens, guys, you know, expect 61.8 zone to happen once again. And those price levels are around that $200 price mark. Because like I said, this level of resistance, if we break out of here, this thing could fly very, very fast. But let me know in the comment section about what you guys think and where you could see the price of QNT go at the end of October. And let me know if you did enjoy this update and if you guys want me to cover it on a daily basis, then I will do exactly that. Thank you so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. It's been CryptoZX.